original uh, work that I was doing looking at the influence of high blood glucose on the brains of developing rats, um, I uh, was, I become sort of interested in the Mastopol. And I'll, in a minute, tell you why. But it was sort of unrelated. It had nothing to do with Alzheimer's disease. Because I'm looking around for things that are associated with high levels of inositol in the brain, I discovered a very interesting article. And that article said that individuals who have Down syndrome, okay, 100% of them have Alzheimer's disease after about the age of 40. I mean, this is so significant that now there are a lot of studies about Alzheimer's disease and they're really being focused on younger children who have Down syndrome to see if there's anything that can be done. Because <coughs> it's like a guarantee you're going to have Alzheimer's if you have Down syndrome. And the other thing that makes it so compelling is the fact that there is an enzyme whose function is to sort of cause an acetal to accumulate in cells that's on chromosome 21, the extra chromosome in individuals with Down syndrome. So there seems to be a very straightforward mechanism for why the inositol would be increased in the cells of these individuals. And by doing some fancy um, NMR uh, evaluation of the brains of the kids with Down syndrome who have Alzheimer's, uh, they all have elevated inositol And they had a way of sort of grading, grading the level of Alzheimer's, the level of amyloid deposition in these patients, which is beyond our discussion here. But they said that it was actually directly related to the concentration of an acetal. So that caught my interest because if I go back and look at those rats, <coughs> that we're evaluating the influence of high glucose on their brain. One of the areas that uh, I've been interested in for a long time is called the polyol pathway. And the polyol pathway is believed to play some role in causing peripheral neuron. So I thought it might be interesting to take a look at it and see what was going on in the brain. Because there's not absolute guarantee that because the blood sugar is high in the body that it's necessarily going to be high in the brain. Lo and 